Hey everybody, it's Scott Sinkle Spring Service, and uh, yeah, that's a nifty little tool here for removing and reinstalling those dust caps. This particular tool has been itching my brain for almost a decade. Uh, I built myself a trial version probably about eight years ago, and complexities we were having was uh, manufacturing. Uh, most pipe or tube comes with the inseam, uh, welded seam in there, which interferes with the dust cap. So being able to make one or two is uh, pretty easy, but if you got to make like, I don't know, 50, 100, or a couple thousand of these things, uh, you really want to make it so that your manufacturing time is as low as humanly possible. So I think we finally uh, cracked the code. So we get these little plates, plasma cut out at a local fab shop, and we get these band sawed off at a local fab shop as well. Uh, they get cut to length. Um, Basically, it's a special piece of pipe that has the welded seam inside of it, but it has a low enough profile that we can actually still get the dust caps inside of them without having to do any kind of extra machining or lathing or anything like that. So uh, it took a little bit of time and effort, but uh, I think I cracked the code. So we're going to actually make these available on our website at SimcoeSpring.com, and they're going to be under dust cap remover. And this particular one that we're releasing at this point in time is going to be for the uh, light duty axles. So it's going to be ranging from 1800 pound axles all the way up to 3500 pound axles. They use the same dust cap. That's it right there. Has a little uh, rubber plug in there. Um, I particularly don't like taking the rubber plug out to grease the end of your wheel bearings. I've had issues with them in the past. Uh, you tear them pretty easily. So I wanted to make something that takes the cap off so you can go in there and grease and service your bearings as often as you want with the least amount of effort. So there you go. So I'll put a link in the description down below to SimcoeSpring.com and where you can get the tool. Uh, if we sell out of this first tool in a reasonable time, then I'll consider making the other two sizes. Uh, this is the smallest one. Uh, we'd be making one for like the 5200 slash 6,000 pound axles. And then the largest one goes on the 7,000 pound axle. So I'll actually break down how we actually use the tool and show you all the steps on how to service your bearings properly and I'll show you exactly how quick and easy it can be yourself and what I'll do is I'll actually show you exactly how we manufacture them here in our shop. So I'll stick around and I'll show you that process. Nice and easy. Just the way I like it. Okay, so here's our base material. We had these plasma cut out at our local fab shop. And the other pieces are these specialty tubes. And you can see the inseam in there is basically non-existent. Let's see if I can get a shot for you. Right there. So because the inseam is basically non-existent, it cuts down on the fabrication time. Uh, they're already painted. So all we have to do is clean them up. Knock all the little shavings and burrs off them, make them comfortable in the hands, and they'll be ready to assemble.
now that we got everything all nice and clean, it's super soft to the touch, no burrs or anything, we're ready to weld them together. Now, now one thing I wanted to do is make it sustainable for us to manufacture these. Because if you got to measure them every single time, it's going to take you forever. So uh, we spent a half a day, we made up a jig, and now we can manufacture them in seconds. And I find that when you're making a one-off product, you can do it however the heck you want. But if you're going to make a couple hundred or even a couple thousand of these things, you need to be able to do them real fast. lined up ready to go Now that we got them tack welded in place, we can weld them. So Matt made up this little jig. And uh, yeah, it's supposed to work pretty good. I haven't used it myself yet, but it allows you to 360 weld them. Now, would I like a nice rotary welder? Absolutely, that's one of the reasons why we're making these. I actually want to fund my own little uh, uh, I forget what they're called. So one of the reasons why I'm actually making these is so that I can justify ordering one of these. And what I want to be able to do is be able to just sit here and weld them. So it'd be really nice to have a setup like that so I can make these uh, even quicker. There we go. That is looking pretty good. Looks like I got the machine set up pretty good. We'll do the last couple.
So there you go. That's how we're going to make these dust cap removers. And uh, if you're interested in buying these, you can get them at SimcoeSpring.com. So if you do see that these things are sold out and does stay sold out on the product, it's because we're going to be making these in batches. Um, I'm going to be trying to make batches whenever people want them. So once we're sold out, I'll put it in order and we'll release the next batch. That's what it's going to be like for the first little bit until we can get these into a regular production. And essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fund some of the tools and equipment that I need to manufacture these more efficiently and effectively. So if you uh, like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to order more of these caps and they're not available on our website, put a comment down below, say I need more caps. And the more of those I see, the faster I'll pump out the next batch. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time. All right, have a good day.